How we doing guys, Dime JG here, and today Manchester United win 2-0 against Everton. I know this video is coming out a little bit later in the afternoon. Obviously, I didn't get up and watch the game, and honestly, I'm kind of glad I didn't because it it took us from 6th place to 6th place. Um, we win 2-0, obviously, on the day. Two penalties, two penalty calls. I watched the penalties, decent penalties, Marcus Rashford and Bruno Fernandes getting on the score sheet. And yeah, we win the game 2-0, we walk away with the points. So, it is what it is, man. All, all that's going to be hoping on this season is next week against Liverpool. It, it is what it is with these games right now. Uh, this game is pretty much uh, irrelevant because next week is basically a cup final because we have to win this FA Cup. Anything less than an FA Cup win this season is failure because we're almost 10 points off of top four um, and we need to win this FA Cup. So, if we go out to Liverpool next week, then this season's a failure and it'll be talking about next season. So... I'm going to break this down because looking at the formation, obviously, I went and looked at the formations that we played, obviously, against Man City and today, and it looks like Ten Hag's doing something different here. Now, I don't, I don't know what this, he's playing a 4-2-4. Uh, this is new. So, he's got four defenders, two midfielders, and four attackers. He's got McTominay as a striker with Rashford. He's got Bruno Fernandes on, what is that, the left wing? Garnacho off the right. I could be wrong. I, I could be getting my lefts and rights mixed up. For me, my right is over here, but... Bruno Fernandez on the wing is wild, but I saw earlier it was a 4-2-3-1, so maybe they're interchanging and stuff, but, but still, this is like a freestyle formation. He's got McTominay at striker when he's basically a CDM, which, I mean, McTominay can play striker, but yeah, he's got Rashford at striker who scored the penalty. He's got Bruno Fernandez on the wing. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is going to be pretty much the team we're going to take into playing against Liverpool in that cup. So it is what it is. And then in the last game against Man City, if you look at look how, look at us, we're basically basically playing nine men behind the ball. We don't even have a striker at the center circle. If you look at Man City, they got Holland in the center circle. Look at how deep we sat against Man City. We had Bruno off the left wing. I mean, just just freestyling, doing whatever. But it's the same stuff with Man United. Like I said, it is what it is, man. These little fringe games right here, like Everton and stuff. Like who cares? I want to win this cup coming up. We have a cup coming up, and we need to win. We need to win. Obviously, when is the cup? March 17th. So, we don't play Sheffield United. That's postponed because um, I think we play today. So, they're not going to have back-to-back -back days of games. Um, but, yeah, this is the game right here. Sunday, March 17th. This is the game. This is the game. This is the game right here. This is it. FA Cup quarterfinals. This is the game that, that I'm worried about. These, these games, whatever, winning... Okay, we went from 6th place to 6th place, like I said. So, yeah, I mean, we move on to the next game, which is going to be Liverpool. So, that's going to be on the 17th. That's next week. We will see what happens because a lot is riding on that game. If we go out of the FA Cup in the quarterfinals to Liverpool, our biggest rivals, and if we get beat good, I don't see how Ten Hag survives because this season, is that would be a straight failure. Out of all cup competitions, we're not winning the Premier League, and that would be a failure of a season. So, I want you guys to let me know what you think down below in the comment section on today's match. Two penalties. Um, I heard some other channels. I was listening to other channels. And, obviously, I watched the highlights as well. They said the game was garbage. And, honestly, I wouldn't doubt it. Because if they just score two penalties, those are not in-play goals. It's two spot kick penalties. So, yeah, I didn't really miss too much. But, yeah, we'll see what's going to happen next Saturday, uh, on uh, Sunday. Because that that's the big that's the big test. That's the big test. All this in-between stuff, is, is it is what it is. Next Sunday, it's the jugular, and it's against our biggest rivals. So, we will see what goes down. And, yeah, it's me and my name, you guys, and I'm out.